Hello, hello, Allen Panthers. Welcome to Number Talk with Mrs. Anderson. Let's get started. Let's take a look at our learning goal for today. I can solve subtraction problems with the result unknown. Whew, that was a lot of words, wasn't it? So let's just take a look at a problem and see what that looks like. If I wrote 23 minus 11 equals box, that is a subtraction problem with the result unknown. We don't know that last number, the final answer. Now there are lots of different ways that we can solve that, boys and girls, okay? But today I want us to try to practice solving things mentally. So again, there's different ways that we could do that as well, but I want us to look at putting the tens and the ones together. So kind of separating those out. So let's look at the tens first. So two tens and one ten, but I'm going to take one ten away from the two tens that I have. So if I have two tens and I take away one ten, that leaves me with a ten, right? Let's do the same thing for the one. So if I have three ones and I take away one one, that leaves me with two ones. Now, I need to put those tens and those ones back together to get my final answer. So what is 10 plus two? Quickly, 12, good job, you got it. All right, so do you see how to do that? All right, let's try that again with, a, with another problem. So if I have 28 and I take away 13, I wanna know what that means. 28 take away 13. So again, let's look at the tens together and the one. So if I have two tens and I'm taking away one ten, that leaves me with a ten. One ten or ten. Let's do the same thing with the ones. If I have eight ones and I take away three ones, that's going to leave me with five ones. Now I need to put my tens and my ones back together to get that final answer. So what is ten plus five? It is 15. So 28 take away 13 equals 15. Let's try that with another number. What if I have 34 and I take away 20? I want to know what that means. Again, let's work with our tens and then our ones. So if I have three tens and I'm taking away two tens, that leaves me with one ten or ten. If I have four ones and I take away zero ones, that still leaves me with four ones, doesn't it? I didn't take any away. So I need to put my tens and my ones back together to get that final answer. So what is ten plus four? It's fourteen. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, what if I have something like this? What if I have 36 and I'm taking away 19? Do you notice something different about that one? Hmm. Well, let's look at that. So if I have three tens and I take away one ten, that leaves me with two tens or 20. But look what happens when you go to do the ones. You have six ones and you're going to take away nine. Now, some of you may know a little bit about negative numbers, but some of you may not. So we've talked in our classrooms about breaking a 10 down. So I've got two tens over here, right? So what if I take one of those tens and I break it apart so that I can make more ones. So if I take one of these tens and I break it apart, that would leave me with a 10 here. And I'm going to put 10 more over here. So I could add that 10 to the six. So what is 10 plus six? It's 16. Now I have enough ones to take away nine. So I could just count back 16, I'm gonna count back nine. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. So that would be seven, right? So I have seven ones. So I have a 10 
because I broke one of those apart and I have seven one. So what is 10 plus seven? It's 17. So 36 minus 19 is 17. Do you see how to do that if you didn't have enough one? You can still break your 10 apart. It just looks a little bit different than when we actually draw out tens and ones. So boys and girls, this is a strategy that I'd like you to use in your lesson today, okay? When we are finding the answer to a subtraction with the result unknown. Thanks for listening today. Bye.